Hi, I'm recording this video today primarily as a way to take my mind off of the incredible pain I am feeling right now. I'm currently passing a kidney stone. What does passing a kidney stone feel like? Uh, it feels like someone kicked you in the balls if your balls are your kidneys. And I describe it that way, not for lack of a more articulate way to describe it. It literally feels like testicle trauma on your back. To your back, maybe, would be a less gross way of saying that. It's a very powerful, pulsing, kind of achy feeling in my lower back. Uh, it, it hurts so much so that I actually had to leave work early today because I was writhing at my desk and people, I think, were, were concerned. Uh, I could barely focus on my work. I couldn't keep in my chair. I'm right now, uh, I, I've already taken a Vicodin and 600 milligrams of ibuprofen. Those don't seem to have done anything, or at least I'm hoping actually that they haven't done anything because if this is the pain with that much medication, then I'm really going to be sad when I don't have that medication anymore. I've been drinking tons of coconut water lately because I read somewhere that it's good for kidney stones. What I've learned today is that it's probably a preventative measure. And if so, fuck you and your advice, internet. Uh, last Tuesday, I had a, a, I guess you would call it an operation, even though there's no uh, actual incision or anything like that. Um, it's called a litho, which is short for something. I don't know, but it's basically they take a crazy futuristic space laser and they vibrate your kidney, um, I think vibrate or send some sort of sonar waves or I don't know what it is, uh, into your kidney to destroy the kidney stone, break it down so that you can pass it by peeing it out. Either that didn't work or I started with a kidney stone the size of a golf ball and I'm now passing uh, blueberry size. I I'm guessing it worked and I'm passing smaller than blueberry size kidney stones right now, but even those maybe are, are pretty big. Either way, as long as it broke it down a little bit, I would, I would assume that there's a relationship between this the size of the kidney stone and the, and the amount of pain. So I'm, I'm glad that I am not feeling more pain than I could be feeling right now. People say that passing a kidney stone is equal in pain to childbirth. And I would uh, probably disagree with that because I am um, conscious right now and I've seen women go through childbirth and uh, that's not a pain I want to feel. So I'm not going to say that. However, I will say that this is probably the worst pain I've, I've ever felt. Um, I think so because it's not a, it's not, it's not just sort of a sharp pain and then it's done kind of thing. It's, it's so ongoing and, and, and sort of, it's like, it feels like a thud. Like it's not like a sharp pain. It's a thud kind of pain. And I don't know if the body's response to that is different and that if you have a, sh if you have a severe trauma, a quick trauma, a cut, uh, maybe a, you know, a quick blunt force type of trauma, your body would release adrenaline to compensate for the pain. Maybe because this one's a slower, uh, pounding kind of pain, there's, there's no adrenaline released. I, I don't know. That's my sort of layman's excuse for it, I guess. But I have come up with a name for the kidney stone. I think I'm going to name it fucking, uh, I can't even think straight. That's, I mean, a bit hyphenated. I can't even think straight. That's stupid. So has this video helped deter my attention from the pain? Well, not really, since I'm talking exactly about the pain. Uh, though surprisingly, I guess I haven't really thought too much about the, the, I haven't really kind of felt the pain during this video because maybe just because I am talking, I'm out loud, doesn't matter what I'm talking about, but I'm talking about something and thinking about something and that does seem to help. So, uh, I hope that none of you out there get kidney stones. Um, I'm told that one of the primary reasons people get kidney stones is simply just lack of, of fluids, lack of water. Uh, they don't drink nearly enough water and that's definitely I'm sure that's my case here. I, I definitely don't drink nearly as much water as I could. Although some of the other factors, um, calcium buildup, too much salt in the diet, those kinds of things, probably not me. Uh, I don't I don't think I eat that much salt. I don't really eat that much fast food. And I know there's a lot of salt in fast food. Um, I'm trying to think of other foods that I eat that would have a lot of salt, but they don't. Maybe there's just more salt than I realize in food. I don't know. Anyway, I hope, uh, I hope you've laughed appropriately at my pain because that's what I'm here for, to make you laugh, right? I'm going to go do something else to try to take my mind off of this pain.